Life wasn't easy growing up. It was tough. Everything we had, we worked for. You see, my family came from the Punjab. We came here with very little to build a better life. I can still picture my mum sitting at the kitchen table, hunched over a sewing machine, sewing neckties for a few shillings a week. We were a working class family in a working class neighborhood. We didn't have privileges or contacts. We had to do it ourselves the hard way. Here in Ilford, I learned my values. You work hard, you look after your family, you stand by your workmates, you stand together as a community. And at times, our community came under threat. I remember the National Front. I remember the British National Party. I remember the threat of fascist violence aimed at people like me. And I remember how we stood together in solidarity as one community and drove the fascists and the racists off our streets. It's 50 years since I went to school here locally. I remember my teacher taking me to one side and saying that for people who look like me to be equal, you had to be twice as good. I've always remembered those words. We all remember too the teachers who inspired us. I will fight for decent salaries for teachers, to restore the cuts to local schools, and to give all teachers the respect and esteem they deserve. There's been times when the NHS has saved all of us. Now we need to come together to save the NHS. There's one sure way to safeguard King George's, and that's to get a Labour government elected and fund the NHS for the future. I've led the campaign to save this hospital for a decade. I've stood on the picket lines, gone on the marches, delivered petitions and sent letters. Together, we fought often to save our NHS. Now it's time to rebuild it. There are great moments in life, getting married, birth of your child. But for me, there's nothing better than the days when I help someone as a counsellor. The day when we stop a deportation or save someone's home or get someone the justice they deserve. I love helping people. That's why I'm dedicated to public service, not to be something, but to do something. I was proud to be part of that winning team where we rid Ilford South of the Tories and Liberals altogether. I'm proud to be leader of the council, but I'm also frustrated that we can't do everything within the straitjacket of Tory spending cuts. That's why I support Labour's plan to invest in local services to get people back to work and rebuild a better Britain. I want to be the next Labour Member of Parliament for Ilford South to get things done. This is the only parliamentary selection I'll ever take part in, to fight for the people I grew up with, my family, my friends, my neighbours, you. Support me and I promise I will work for you every day in every way. I won't let you down.